As you can see here, we have a patient that has a type of hair loss, which is a scarring type of hair loss, called lichen planopilaris. And you can see in the middle here this white atrophic or scarring uh, area, which is not going to grow hair. And the question really becomes, well, what can we do to surgically improve this or to get hair back in, the, in this area? There are many things that can be done. One thing that can easily be done if the patient was so inclined to do is to just excise the scar, cut it out, pull it together, and just do a surgical procedure and bring this hair-bearing hair area back to this hair-bearing area. In other situations, we utilize follicular unit excision or follicular unit extraction procedures where we remove donor hair from the back of the scalp and we transplant it into this scarring area. And hair follicles can grow in scars to restore this area. With certain types of hair loss conditions that are autoimmune, uh, like lichen planopilaris or lupus, hair transplanting into this area can, can be considered problematic in the sense that we have to advise patients that the results may not be 100% successful and the reason is that when you have a diagnosis of an inflammatory autoimmune condition that is damaging the hair follicles, any transplanted hairs that are put into this area can potentially also be involved with the same issue. So when you're transplanting into scars, you have to understand what the pathology is and what the diagnosis is. Because while it can be done, Many times the grafts may not grow completely or they may grow fine for several years only to get the disease reactivated. And when you have the disease reactivated into the area, the transplanted hairs may be affected and they may be damaged and lost similar to what was lost here. So in answer to the question, can you transplant into scars? Yes, you can, but it depends on what type of scar you're transplanting in. And if you're transplanting into disease processes that are inflammatory in nature, uh, it should be under the direct follow-up and close supervision of a clinical dermatologist specializing in hair transplantation surgery.